about who, who, where, how. <laughs> but there, this is no trade of this conversation. Yeah, correct. That's why we have a great guest coming up. But before we do that, mm. like you said, mm. let me give you that quote, okay? Mm. Quote of the dead. William Howard Taft. Okay. Remember, I, I told you about um, James Garfield, who was a 20th American president. I don't remember. You only remember what you want to remember. <laughs> William Howard Taft eh. was the 27th president uh-huh. of the United States. 27th. Wow. We said Trump is number? 45. The B.O. Obese. Obese was? Oh, 44. Clinton was? 40, 40 what? <laughs> 40 what? 42. 42. Bush was? 43. And? 44. 41. Okay. Babake. Well, UK, so bushes. U- UK is? The Bushes have taken the White House twice. Eh? Mm, so have oh. the Kenyatta's. Oh. One and four. Wow. And they are your cousins. William Howard Taft said, <laughs> substantial progress towards better things mm. can rarely be taken without developing new evils requiring new remedies. E. That is deep. It comes S- through the other side. Repeat. Substantial progress toward better things mm-hmm. can rarely be taken without developing new evils mm. requiring new remedies. Wow. That is too deep. E. 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 Wow. That's a TBT code. From Babu Oweno School of Thought. Yes. Men of few words are usually married to women of very many words. <laughs> Men of few words mm. are usually married to women of very many, many, many words. So a noisy man cannot uh, marry a noisy woman. They can't. They can't exist in one uh, one room. So, what so I, if a mm. man says, "I'm a man of a few words," mm. I'm a kaliwa nyumbani because the woman is married well. All day, all night. I'm telling you, you find a man sleeping in Kasia Pakasa Tano Siku. Why? He does not drink. Mm. He does not. I am a kwa gari ya fika nyumbani apate bibi ya mechoka lale. Kovila na hiyo hata hiyo satana kifika nyumbani. <laughs> Bado <laughs> women please allow men to go home. Reduce in your words. Please. So the quote is yeah. men of very few words. Mm. No. Now anytime you introduce yourself and say you know I'm a man of very few words. Yeah. We know you are married to a woman of very many 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 words. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you talk all the time? No, I ni yetu ni kazi. Oh, ukifika nyumbani una na nyamasi hata bibi amenikalia. I think on that note, let's talk about to a woman of very many many words. <laughs> <laughs> she will be having very, very many words on the, on the, on the Valentine's Day. Yes, it's on the Valentine's Day. Oh. You'll have many, many words. I have many Zippy, words. Zippy, first I... let's introduce her. I mean, <laughs> people can't assume at you when I'm on a radio. Okay, so, 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 like, you know, Jeff, I've always told you, when you're talking to me, you don't have to raise your voice <laughs> to make people feel like, 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 you're, like, like you're bullying me. See, muli, muli no, 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 no. Muli lala pamoja. Okay, so, kulala pamoja. <laughs> Au semi mulilala pamoja mm. muliamka pamoja did you oh, wake up amukulala kwa ndivyo muamke <laughs> just say it with english <laughs> go on do the intro all right now ladies and gentlemen joining us this beautiful morning mm. we said it was an art kind of morning mm. because even in the next hour we're going a bit of art artsy 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 now this beautiful woman joining us this uh, morning is called zippy okoth Zippy Okoth will be putting up a one woman show at the Valentine's Day on the Valentine's Day that is on Wednesday the 14th right yes so all of you who've been trying to escape uh, mm-hmm. Valentine's who <laughs> saying oh it's Ash Wednesday mm-hmm. I don't know Barcelona is playing mm-hmm. PSG mm-hmm. you won't run by the way because you have to be at the National Theater that day and be- treat baby to some artist because Zippy mm-hmm. will be on stage a one woman show wow. Zippy welcome to Hot 96 Thank you, Jeff and Jealous. How are you yes. doing? Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, we're having a wine woman show on the 14th of February at 7 p.m., mm-hmm. meaning you come from work and you just head there. Lady, you come here and we'll give you a flower. Mm-hmm. So ensure you're there. Yeah. Tell and us more about it. Uh, the one woman show is a play about love, passionate love. It's my story. I think we have too many stories out there and uh, 
that have not been told that I had last we should put that on stage mm-hmm. sometime mm-hmm. yeah so this is my story about uh, it's now since I have to separate myself from the character this is a story about a 25 year old girl an artist performing artist musician who gets married to a military man they have mad passionate love uh, crazy love going across the continents and all uh, and they are struggle to have a baby and then their marriage coming into shambles too much pressure from outside mm. and even from inside mpango wakandos alcohol beatings conflict between being a housewife and an artist the death of their child the temptations that are there and uh, finally the biggest blow too many beatings and almost committing suicide and somebody says enough is enough let me rebuild myself up the separation and building yourself up and the difficult divorce the process not even court divorce is about court mm. divorce is about the intellectual the mind the emotions and all that which is more difficult than even marriage actually before you contemplate divorce i tell you try that marriage divorce is not easy <laughs> 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 and all this is a one woman act. This is a one woman act. So actually what's happening is the story is too long so this stranger in my bed is part 1. We are only talking about the marriage. Mm-hmm. Then we will have part 2 sometime in August where we will talk about the separation, the divorce, the struggle to come back together, the uh, pressure from society, from family, from friends and all that, the children involved because there are two children here, one passed on and one is existing and to bring this child together, all that conflict and uh, finally where we are right now. And and uh, this is not just my story. I think when we watch TV every week, nowadays I think it's every week, yeah. there's a husband has killed wife and children, there's a wife has killed husband and children, there are children who have uh, drunk poison and died because children born in abusive marriages cannot grow up to be emotionally well. Uh, when you've watched so much violence, especially now, let me give you excuse for my military man, when you've been... <laughs> Exposed to exposed violence. Exposed to violence. Yes. I think our military should take those people into therapy. Because I we can blame them. But there's also the part of where do they go emotionally, psychologically, after seeing all that while Shabab mm-hmm. kiss Mayu mm-hmm. and all. Mm-hmm. So I think the government should also play a part in therapy. I've actually done drama therapy because I had to take myself through that and also to really understand how to help people in that. Yes, yeah, so this is a one woman show talking about people's stories, bits and pieces. Uh, the most beautiful thing about this is uh, it's not a tragedy, it's a comedy. Oh. You know, we've reached that point of let's laugh at ourselves. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. It's not sad anymore. Right. It's being able to look back and say, was oh, that really me? Yes. And, and a lot of people who come on uh, Wednesday will yes. be able to relate. They'll be able to relate yeah. because one, it's a story about love. There's no divorce that was not over passionate. That is why when the love is too passionate, uh, it might end in divorce or it might not. But first, it's a story of that very passionate love. Two, it's a story to tell us what not to do to keep a marriage. Oh, wow. Yes, what because... What not to do? What not to do? What to do? You can do a lot of mm. things. We don't know. I mean, there are some romantic tips I don't even know. <laughs> but what not to do? Mm. Yes. So when you come towards that, our ladies and our men will know what not to do. Because even as a person, there are points we blame ourselves as women. What did you do? I mean, like the last I said, sometimes we talk too much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> talking, talking to my and, and this play called Stranger in, Stranger in, in My, my bed. bed. This is part one, actually. Right? This is part one. There will be a part two later in there the year. There will be a part two later in the wow. year. So you're going to tease people for the next six months. Hmm. Keep this them coming. Asking it's 18 for more. plus, by the way. Oh. Mm-hmm. So is there any four letter words used? Yes. Oh, my. Oh, so now, now the question is. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of stories in this uh, play. Yes. How are you able to bring it out as a one woman? And why didn't you want to put other people in the <laughs> cast? Hakuna <laughs> pesa. <laughs> Number one, hakuna pesa. Please, Jeff, sponsor us. I was here. Yes, so, so there's the part of pesa, is it, Osha? Mm. But also, we wanted something different. As ZP. I'm a graduate of theater arts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a, a, a BA to PhD. And I was like, I want to challenge myself. Yes, Jeff. 
PhD. PhD theater arts. Dr. Okoth. Dr. Okoth. Hey. Actually, let me let me become a jealous. See, jealous we are Lewis. Yes. Lewis Bragg. Yeah. yeah, go on. I am the first woman PhD in theater art from a Kenyan university. Ah, wow. But yes. you don't say. I don't say. No, which you university? just whisper mm-hmm. loud. Which Kenyatta university? university. Wow. Actually, I've gone to all university. Maseno. Mm. Then the University of Nairobi. The. The. Mm. Then Kenyatta University. You have gone to three universities. I've gone to three universities. Hey. Okay. Yes. Oh, but you don't say. Ya last do wari utapita. Utapita tu pala. Utamaliza hii. Alafu utaenda yengine. Utapita. PhD. Utakuwa utakuwa the first comedian. The first comedian with a PhD. That's a great goal. That's a huge goal. There must be a first. There must be a first. And I will get there. You will get there. That's true. Si kama si kama mwangi wa iria au kama wandutu. Wandutu. Uko inange wa. Wa 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 ko inange wa makara. Kuna mtu mwingine ametuma joroge wa battery joroge wa battery wow doctor okoth that's fantastic obviously you're passionate about this i i love it when did you first know that you were destined to do this primary school uh in class 7 i did my first play there was this teacher who came and uh, auditioned us i was a shy little girl i only used to do poetry Uh, so after that then we went up to the provincial of the nationals high school i was only i was the only form one in asumbi girls high school drama club <laughs> in that year 1996 there, there was no other form one and that gave me confidence when i when i finished high school then Masini University was offered a ring drama and theater studies and everybody wanted me to do education. The last I just said my father is advocate he wanted me to do law but <laughs> <laughs> the theater passion was too strong and so was he disappointed? Ah, a little but my parents are very liberal. They say okay follow your heart. <laughs> just don't come back saying you don't have a job. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've had to I've had to struggle through my career. Um it's not easy in the arts. Yeah, and uh, I mean jealous to me talk mbali sana to me to let nobody see jealous here on 96 think he came here the other day mm. he has struggled mm. yes the art is not easy in Kenya and when we get to a point where we can be able to get even some 10000 shillings we appreciate are you saying there's no support for this <sighs> because it seems like people are so frustrated in the art industry remember yes. phoenix players yes so even closed man closed Artists. That was the saddest. It's sad. That was the saddest. When you for, three, for around 3 million. I, actually I'm looking at it like you need 10 million to save Phoenix. After paying up the 3 million you need some other money mm. to renovate it no. and get a good management. But was, wasn't that a shame or isn't that a shame? It, it is a shame. So it's why, a shame that yeah. within Nairobi mm. we can only run to the Kenya National Theatre as the only professional theatre space. And you know that was just rehabilitated the other day. Yes. It was a mess for years. That's uh, true. Uh, well, you know. Yeah. It was a mess. Because Panya zilikuwa zinaishi huko. Panya paka Simba. Yes. At the time an elephant was hard huko jini in the basement. How many times have I met tigers in there? <laughs> so, so many times. It was a dungeon. It was yes. terrible, eh? for lack of a better word. But uh, uh, the EABL eh, mm-hmm. came through for us and renovated mm-hmm. and renovated and put up a state of the art. And any time you get onto that stage mm-hmm. now, boss, you really feel like you're yeah. performing in some very good space. But Zippy, is it being utilized to its full capacity? Uh, I would disappoint artists if I said yes, it's you being utilized. The truth is, it is not being utilized to its full capacity. Mm. Right now the National Theatre is booked I think up to December. Fully. Is that right? If there are dates in between then it's just Monday and Tuesday in between it's fully booked. However half of those are not performing. That's uh, just genres. What is it? Corporate events, I mean stuff. Yeah. Yes. So um, it's not being used to its full capacity for what it was created for. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Because corporates so a very good space. It's an event yeah. area, yeah. and uh, yeah. we can put a very good event here yeah. yes. without having to look for seats and everything. We want people mm-hmm. to come and sit comfortably as we do a lunch, we do a cocktail evening, yeah. we do a what? So you can imagine. So the National Theatre, it's not even being used for what it was meant. It's for. become a conferencing center. It's become another small branch of KICC. Yeah. Uh, 
That's how sad it is. Annex. Yes. Mm. But also, I th- I, is it the prices for hiring that even artists cannot even afford? Mm. That's yeah, another the, thing. The prices right now are averagely 50,000 for artists. For mm. corporates, I think it's higher. 50,000 for a show? Per day. Per day. Yes. So uh, if you have a show on, most shows begin on Friday. On Friday, Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Sunday. So that means you'll pay 150,000. The government, uh, in my view, mm. to support the artists, the theatre in Kenya, the government should have money put at the Kenya National Theatre to even pay up for 50 percent of that cost, so that artists, they know the government is paying for me 30,000, and I am only paying 20,000 to the, use the National Theatre. That is a subsidised way for the government to support us. But right now. The National Theatre is struggling to maintain itself. They say they don't have money to maintain themselves. And we are also struggling as artists to pay ourselves mm. to keep a living. And uh, it's becoming hard. What's the seating capacity? Right now it's 345. 345. Yeah. Yeah. And how much are tickets roughly? Like for our, for our show it's mm. 1,000. Okay, so let's yes. say you fill it on that day, right? Three hundred fifty thousand. Three hundred fifty thousand. Yes. Okay, fifty thousand goes to. Uh, uh, fifty thousand goes to the national theatre. Left with three hundred. Yes. Remember Actually, you're you left with the around two eighty. Okay. And then okay. you, you've been rehearsing for mm-hmm. how long? Mm-hmm. Uh, two months. And you two pay months. for rehearsal, obviously. The rehearsal space. Mm-hmm. Then you are also paying mm-hmm. people. The yeah. ticket. Like industry. now we have yeah. crew, and you are also paying marketers. Marketers. So by the time you walk away next Wednesday evening, if you feel the house yes you're struggling yeah it's like uh, how do you call it if, if we fill the house we'll say we have uh, we have we have leveled we have not gone at a loss we have not made profit but Dr. <coughs> Okoth and yes. I'm insisting on doctor now because yes, this yes. is ridiculous mm. your father must be very disappointed Mm-hmm. Because look, look at you. <laughs> yes, you are so smart. You're so talented, mm-hmm. and yet you don't have the instruments to yes, help to you. Be what I want to do. Yes, yes, true. Because the number of theater, the number, let me call it, not call it theater. The number of performing spaces within our country are very limited. Right now, when you can't get the national theater, you can go to Allianz, which has a smaller capacity, mm-hmm. or you can go to Visa Oshwell. Or you can go to Brabant, but you can only use Brabant during summer holidays. Mm-hmm. Yes. Or Brookhouse. Or Brookhouse, but during summer holidays. And look at the distances. Yes. So we have to start looking for uh, open spaces for theatre. Yes. Wow, that's very frustrating. Mm-hmm. Very frustrating. But, but obviously you have the passion and you're determined to succeed. We will succeed. Hmm? In theatre, we say the show must go on. <laughs> wow. The show must go on. Okay, let me ask you this. The show must Zippy, go on, Zippy, yes. have you and Jalas ever performed together? It was uh, in Homer Bay. Homer Bay? Homer yes. Bay. There was a theatre group called Homer Bay Theatre Group. Yes. And that's where we started. Mm. Yes. I actually joined Homer Bay Theatre Group when I was still informed. Don't ask me which year. Mm. Yeah, well, you just said 1996, you informed one. So I'm doing the math here. <laughs> 97, you informed two. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so, of course, you are 36 years. <laughs> <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> TV. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so this one woman show, yes. you do it on Valentine's again. Let's promote we it. We are mm. doing it on Valentine's Day. It's called um, Stranger in Stranger My Bed. Stranger in My Bed. You know, like you wake up mm. and you're like, Who is this? Who is this? And you've been married to them for years. Is this the romantic man I knew? <laughs> What has happened? Tickets, uh, gates open at or doors open? Doors open at 6.30 a.m. 6.30 p.m. p.m. Yes. Yeah, so you come, come from work and you enter there. So they don't have to all wear red on Valentine. They just come as you are. We are already red. Inside the National Theatre is already red. So just come dress <laughs> yes, the way you are. <laughs> how does it open? Just give us a teaser. Mm. Of how. Just give you a, a teaser. teaser. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh my. <laughs> my. <laughs> you must know Zippy loves a lot, eh? He does, eh? Yeah. I like oh, that. But, but on that day, I'll cry even. Yeah. Oh? You'll I, cry? Have you seen my poster? No. My poster has got a lot of smileys. That day, you will see all the emotions on that poster, on that stage. Okay, give us a tease. Yes. Give us a tease. I give you a tease. Ah. Oh. Let me give you the most. In the. Uh, Uh, let me give you. I want to give you a line about R- Ricky. Uh, my character is called Ricky Jasuba. Ricky Jasuba is just perfect. 
It's like he was just made for me. You see, Faith and Ben are our mutual friends. And when the magazine came out, Faith and Ben went to visit Ricky. And what was there? My photo, the cover photo stuck on his wall. Ricky Jasuba told me he wants to meet me, that he longs to meet me, that he can't wait to meet me. He said he will come all the way to Kisumu just to meet me. And so I told him, fine, come, because I cannot make it to Nairobi. The guy uh, gets on his way and then he comes to Kisumu all the way from Mombasa. But when he gets to Kisumu at the Sunset Hotel, what does Zippy do? Zippy doesn't show up. The guy doesn't give up. Eventually, he goes back to Mombasa and then he comes back. And then uh, we continue talking and chatting. But Zippy is still stuck on the wall of his room. And then he, he was eventually graduating from the cadet in the military. And then he invites me for his graduation. He even books me a special accommodation because he does not want to insult me by asking me to spend in his room. And what does Zippy do? Zippy doesn't show up. Eventually, Zippy is on holiday in Nairobi during August holidays and he gets wind of this and he's also in Nairobi let's say for matters of national security he asks Zippy for lunch oh this naturally comes together and what does Zippy do? Zippy shows up <laughs> okay yes. for you people to know how Zippy shows up. up yes I need to show up at the National Theatre yes next Wednesday Valentine's Day February the 14th yes doors open at 6.30pm the play is entitled Stranger in My Bed from the Diary of a Divorced Woman Diary of a Divorced Woman it's a series so we are going to have many series mm. from the Diary of a Divorced Woman yeah and uh a lot of people's stories are going to be told. And we have a great team in this, by the way. It's not just me. Mm. There's a lot of people working on this show. And it's directed by Wanjiku Mwawoganga. Wanjiku Mwawoganga. Mm. We have our producer, Miriam Katz. Mm -hmm. We have our production designer, Nancy Alwatch Reagan. Uh, we have got our production manager, Abu Melita. Our technical manager, James Mutua. And our stage manager, Masi Wangui. So all these people are working around the clock like I'm here and they're at the National Theatre already. Wow, there's yes. a lot of passion in this industry. Huh? And we Too have much. support. Mm. Tony Airo is giving gift hampers on Valentine's Day. Wow. Tony Airo. Yes. Where's, where's our cologne, man? Where's yeah, our, our cologne? cologne is coming. You better come on that day for your cologne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this guy. You see his hair? Yes. You see his hair? Yeah. I see his hair. Mm. It's not Tony Airo. Yeah. It's, it's not Tony. It's not Tony. It's Miyadi no. Miyadi. Miyadi Miyadi. <laughs> But we want to turn him to Tony Airo. Tony Airo. We will yeah. turn it into Tony Airo. We will most most. Yes. <laughs> What's your ultimate goal, Zippy? You seem to have so much passion. What's your ultimate goal? In life? Yeah. Um, I hope to build a theater. Oh. Yes. I, because I believe by having a theater space that's meant just for that, then that is the beginning of building the industry. Right now, when we can't have the space to perform as often, as much as we want, even to rehearse in that space as much as we want, then we can barely practice the art. So that is my number one. On the other side, to walk towards this dream, uh, I have started a theater lab at the Karen Village. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have a theater lab at the Karen Village mm -hmm. where we give four months workshops, training, you know, a lab intern, six hours every week. And we are doing... Uh, acting performance we have a performance lab where we do acting and directing we have got a scripting lab scripting for the screen and for the stage we have got a technical lab for set costume design lighting then we also have a dance lab where you can do techniques of dancing hip-hop capoeira salsa and contemporary dances and even for cinematography lab we have there where you can do camera operations lighting and sound for camera mm -hmm editing lab and film directing lab where you just continue doing short short films until you learn well uh, through projects that is when you do the ultimate one and so if people want to get in touch how do they do that to, to be part of the workshop ah uh, to be part of the workshop theaterlabkenya.com www.theaterfilmlabkenya.com theaterfilmlabkenya yes theaterfilmlabkenya.com and who pays for this you pay 
Okay, there's a fee for this. There's a fee for this. Yeah. Jeff, you can sponsor someone. Listen to this woman. <laughs> she thinks that <laughs> sponsor someone. Jalas can also sponsor yes, someone. Yes, 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 Though yes, definitely, I think it's a yes. great idea. Do you yes. get support from the government? I'm still waiting. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Yeah, I'm still mm. waiting. Jeff, we also have a festival in Kisumu. Mm-hmm. It's called the Lake International Pan African Film Festival for films in African languages only. We are still waiting for support from the government. Mm. There, but there are two people who are supporting us. Last year they supported the KFC and KFCB supported us. They did. They did. Kenya Film Corporation. Kenya Film Commission, Commission. And Kenya Film Classification Board yes. and the French Embassy. So Chris That's Foot it. and Ezekiel Mutua. Yeah, mm. they, they came together. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fantastic. That's great. Yes. Fantastic. And it's only for films in African languages. Mm. You know. Don't we have a Ministry of Culture, Sports? No, no, no. Sports. Now we have Ministry of Sports and Heritage. Sports and Heritage. Yes, the who's culture the and arts. I don't know where, what has happened. Who's to the it nominee now. for this one? Uh... We'll find out, Cynthia. We'll find Cynthia. out. Sport, it's called Sports and Heritage. Yeah, it's now called Sports and Heritage since so this heritage, year. So culture and everything will fall under heritage. We hope so. What do you think? We hope so. Because we thought heritage was under hmm? culture. Uh, Mr. Rashid Achesa. Oh, Rashid Achesa. Ah. Thank you. He's going to be vetted in the next few days. Yeah, he should be. Yeah, it so should. we hope they'll cover us because heritage is under culture, but now it's now the other way around. And before was who? Wario. Hey, Wario. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that guy. The guy from Rio, Wario. Mm. And now he's ambassador to Vienna, Austria. Shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>